thought teaching high school was the greatest job ever. Um, the only reason I quit teaching high school was because I really felt like I wasn't reaching all my kids. And that, that was the part that kept me up at night. And so I went back and got a PhD to be able to research that. Because the reason I dropped out from high school is that I, I, I really don't like the, the way they, they teach math. I don't know, I just didn't want to go to school. Kids like technology. They like video games. It's the fact that I'm not standing up there in front of the classroom just talking at them for an hour. They're actually moving and getting up and doing things. What we set out to do was to make an application to make math more approachable. I, I just feel that, that I, I want to do something, playing or something that interests me. We decided to use the connect and use the motion of the user because it's an easy piece of hardware to program for. Up until now, we really didn't have a way to touch the mathematics. And so when I first saw the Kinect sensor as it advertised as a video game, I thought, that's a way to touch mathematics. That's a way to get the kids who just are checked out that are going, yeah, well, I don't understand what, what this is doing, a chance to get their hands on graphing a line or graphing a parabola. It increases, the velocity, the first derivative is positive. As the function is decreasing, the velocity is Negative. A week later, I meet Jeb and Jack, and they've already programmed the first iteration of the software. And I met them, and I was just blown away. I mean, they took my idea, and they nailed it. They've really paid attention to that vision and thought, how can we make our vision come true? If students could use what they're learning earlier in their career, I think it would be more interesting to them. So when I first approached, um, the guys that program this pro software for me, that's what I asked for. I said, can you make it? Just give me distance and time. Um, velocity acceleration would be nice. And I was interested about learning it, so we sought out a project that we could do, and we found these math teachers who needed a piece of software to teach students. What they ended up doing was um, coming up with a graph that has color in it and a picture of the person walking. So now all of a sudden it's not only interactive, but I can see myself as I actually walk in front of it and I can see the graph changing over time. We've talked about embodied thinking and that's really two pieces, the kinesthetic movement of your own body, but then that being able to empathize with what the movement needs to be in somebody else's body. You're gonna have to help them out here. Y equals. So even if one person's running the connect, the rest of the class is having to give feedback on, oh no, you have to move your arm this way or you have to do this. Dynamic technology used in mathematics has been shown to significantly impact student learning. And that's the really beauty of it, is now I've got a relatively inexpensive sensor that can hook to the teacher's regular classroom computer. They don't need any special board mounted on the wall that's going to cost thousands of dollars that will allow them to have all their kids be able to interact with mathematics in this tremendous way.